Well, hey. Welcome to being in limbo. Hmm? Ooh, I guess I should introduce myself, huh? Hi there, I'm Ramis, or Rami, to my friends. But yes, you're in limbo at present. Right between heaven, hell, and all that other eldritch shit in between. Oh, what happened? Well, you tried to give a present to that dumb asshole you're in love with, and, well, he exploded at you in front of his dumb asshole friends. Said friends thought it'd be funny to handcuff you to a radiator over weekend. Forgot it was a four-day weekend. Mm-hmm. Starvation, dehydration, especially after all those tears you spilled. They found you just barely alive and rushed you here, but, well, yep, afraid so. Terrible shame, really. You're a cute one. Let me give you some freebies. Yes, he knows. No, he hasn't come to the hospital. Your parents gave up the second the doctor said you were in a coma. I've got to admit, I've been alive a long ass time, and I don't think I've ever seen one person surrounded by so many absolute pigs. Poor little bright eyed thing. Why am I here? Well, curiosity mostly. My kind is meant to tempt humans in these sort of scenarios, but uh, old Lou, well, he took one look and said, he says, Rami, for fuck's sakes, go get this one. I'm serious. Getting old Lucifer himself to feel a bit bad is a feat. Yep, your number one demon with terrible jokes, and a love for leather jackets like this one? Heh, <laughs> yeah, I took it off a of Hell's Angels leader that got fed to a wood chipper. Hmm? Oh, no, no, I didn't do that. Uh, his wife, actually. I was just sort of there with popcorn and some soda and a nice stolen jacket. What can I say? I like the biker look. Do I want your soul? Oh, bright eyes. No, no, no. I want to see you get revenge. Oh, yes, you do. You want it. I wouldn't be here if not for that delicious inferno of hatred and sadness inside of you. It's very uh, fragrant. No. See, what I want is to give you your life back. I want to pretend to be your boyfriend and watch you rain destruction and woe on every single sad sack of shit in your life. Oh, and I want to pet Sparkles. Yes, your cat? Hey, demons like animals. Do you know how brutal animals can be? Yeah, I thought so. Why pretend to be your boyfriend? Well, so I can be there in person and see what's going to happen. I'm a real reactionary kind of guy, if you catch my drift. No? Yeah. Me neither. But, hey, you gotta admit that I'm pretty sexy. 10 out of 10, and definitely better than that stupid, uh, abusive crush of yours. I think we could have some fun. I could take you out on an actual proper date, and flatter you, and make you happy. And you? You can see the look on their faces while the hottest boy in town kisses your lips off. Can you picture the look on his face? Huh? 
<laughs> yeah, it'll blow his little mind. Ah, there's the temptation. I can see it in those very pretty eyes of yours. Hmm. Ahem. <clears throat> Hear this, mortal. I will be a gentleman to the best of my ability. I cannot guarantee I won't cackle like a hyena while their lives implode around us. I cannot guarantee that I won't be possessed by random urges to break shit. And I absolutely promise you, I will not be able to not flirt. It's just who I am. What happens if you accept? Well, I'll cup that pretty face, slide my tongue down your throat, and seal the deal. Typically, your eyes will change to reflect my presence. Glowing red eyes are fairly normal, but I've seen some stranger effects. The point is, you'll become mine, in a sense. I give you your life back. You let me be part of it for my own sick and twisted amusement. And maybe let me take you out once or twice. Yeah? I mean, no one's making you say yes. You're free to pass on in peace if it pleases you. Maybe you end up in my hometown. We can get coffee then. Fair warning. Sometimes the coffee starts screaming. <laughs> Good choice. Come here and open. Yes, open. Like, ah. Uh... <laughs> uh, sorry. I drool sometimes when I'm excited. It's a deal then. Yes? Don't worry, it won't hurt. Shh, shh, shh. It'll only be a second. There we go. <laughs> Good. Welcome back to the mortal coil, bright eyes. So how do you like your new boyfriend, huh? Skin not quite so red. Horns are tucked away and tail also tucked. I'm happy to hear it, bright eyes. Now, take my hand. I'm going to teach you every bit of dark magic that I know. Let's just, uh, ooh, those eyes. I've never seen anyone's eyes do that. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ruin some lives, fall in love, and pet some big ol' cats. <laughs> <laughs> 